guys, I'm here to talk today about the Yellow Monarch Mandarin Edition, or should I just say, the Monarch Mandarin Edition, which is a yellow deck of cards from Theory 11. This deck, I'm a sucker for yellow, so that's probably why, in my opinion. This deck is the most beautiful deck of cards I've ever seen. And I don't own every deck in the world, so I guess that's kind of a, maybe not a fair assessment, but for me personally, out of all the cards that I have seen, that I've owned at least, I like this deck the best. Um, that's the front, as you can see, alright, and that's the back. The back is simply the back design of the cards. Of course, the cards have a yellow border. I mean, a yellow border, a white border, have a border. So that way, if you're a magician, it's really ideal for card tricks. Because as a magician doing card tricks, uh, it's nice if the cards have a white border going around it. Uh, for certain reasons, of course, there's some tricks where... Where it's nice, actually, if they don't have a border, because when you spread them and the cards face up in the deck, you can it really stands out. But anyways, these cards, uh, I've been playing with them for a while, but right out of the box, let me say, they shuffle well. They shuffle even better after you have broken them in for a little bit. But right out of the box, they shuffle well, and I've owned these cards now. For dropping them all over the place. What I mean by that is one card on the floor. Uh, I don't know what I was going to say. But anyways, these cards are really nice for cardistry. Uh, because the bright, the yellow, it just stands out so much. Um, now, the shuffling is good. As far as the springs right out of the box um you still you have to break it in a little bit but after you break it in for about an hour's worth of practice time and breaking in time maybe half an hour to be a little bit more realistic or an, a day's worth of practice if you want to be uh, a little bit more precise or explain it a little bit easier um they break in quite well and then they can do your springs and all that stuff but yeah i love this deck and it and handles right out of the box of course is all three 11 decks do they handle like butter right out of the box i mean they are so nice for fanning all right it just makes such a great fan of course i can make a giant fan and show you what that looks like I mean, do it this way so you can see the backs. I mean, that looks excellent for a giant fan. And, yeah, they just stand wonderfully. Uh, they have a really nice feel to them. And you see in the backs, right? I'll show you. The the, the fronts are just like a standard standard monarch deck so in case you're not familiar with the monarchs that's the ace of spades right there okay the rest of the cards the black ones look like that oops i have two cards there the black ones look like that standard black for the most part and the reds look like that standard reds for the most part the court cards i'll show you for contrast, there's a red, a uh, black, I'm sorry, card, court card, the king. And then there's a king of hearts, a red king court card. Now, that's the faces and the ace of spades I've shown. And then last of all, the jokers. Alright, and both jokers are identical which is nice if you're a magician and if you're a magician you are a magician you know why that's a nice um 
for lack of a better word, a nice thing to have, right? So, that being said, I would give, I would rate this deck a 10 out of 10 uh, as far as it looks. As far as handling, I would rate them a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I rate it 9.5 is I do prefer a crush to sock, which means the cards handle like butter right out of the box. But these are really close, because even though they're not a crush stock, they still handle really well. Uh, as far as springs, like I said, they just have to be broken in a little bit, maybe about a day's worth of practice. But after that, they, they are great. So I highly recommend picking up a deck of these if you can find them they're no longer um in stock at 311 because they were a uh, and, and by the way in case you're wondering this theory the number uh, 11.com it's a magic website but they also make custom decks this is just a standard deck just very custom um and so yeah uh you, you cannot find them on that site anymore because they were just for the chinese new year but if you can find these on eBay or something like that, I would go for it. That said, I'm running a contest now to win one of these decks. And the way that that's going to go down is, this, is you have to like at least five of my videos, be a subscriber, and refer five people. And then comment done in the comment section below. And also comment why you liked my video on any of the videos. If you do all of that and you hit and you comment done and you make that comment on one of my videos, I know it's a lot, but I'm trying to grow my channel here. It'll be accepted and forwarded into the contest uh, to win one of these decks. So, I'm going to run the contest for a month to give a fair chance for people to do the following, or the previous that I just said, and hopefully one of you guys come home, well, one of you guys will, I uh, go with one of these decks. But I have to say, I'm only shipping in the U.S. I do not ship outside of the U.S., so for, none of my, for my uh, non-U.S. fans, I'm very sorry. But it's just not going to work out too much money to ship one of these decks out to you. Alright man, uh, man, or woman, I don't know. Hope you have a great day.